Hey girls, it's Friday, and thank goodness for that. I'm not calling this my top five favorite songs, because these are not my top five favorite songs. This was so incredibly difficult for me to narrow down, and there's no way that I have only five favorite songs, so there are five of my top songs. And there's no number on that, how many top songs there are, because I have no idea. Now it's funny how I have such a difficulty picking my top five favorite songs, but I do know what my favorite song ever is, and it is the first song that I'm going to talk to you about today. My first song on my list of five of my favorite songs is Hey Love by Maven. Okay, we're going to do a little flashback to Disney Channel when I was probably around like 10 or 11. Now back at that time there was this show and that show was called Even Stevens and on Even Stevens were some really adorable boys who I had huge celebrity crushes on. Main one being AJ Trout who played Twitty. I found out that he was in a band. They had a couple songs for download on their website, and one of the songs that was available for download was a song called Hey Love. Such a beautiful song, but it's not that typical, oh my gosh, I love you so much, my life is complete because you are now in it. It's more so, love, this is what I am without you, and I really hope you'd consider that so that I could be something more. So the second song on my list of five of my top favorite songs is a song by the Smiths called Asleep. So some of you may know that my favorite book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And in The Perks of Being a Wallflower, the main character Charlie makes this mixtape. And the most predominant song on this mixtape is Asleep by the Smiths. He mentions how beautiful it is and how moving it is and how relaxing it is even though it's a song about death. So my friend Alyssa knew how much I absolutely loved this book, so for my birthday or something, I don't even remember the occasion, she made me an exact replica of the mixtape, except on CD, because we are in the 21st century. And so that's when I first got to hear the song Asleep, and it is the most beautiful song I have ever heard. It's just, oh, it's just so incredibly moving and beautiful, and... Oh, I love it so much. So the third song on my list is All I Am by Alan Listefka and Luke Kennard. It can be found on their album Erase This, which is one of the best albums I've ever heard. So this is something that I was actually talking about with Lizzie while we were hanging out. The main lyrics to this song are, I've got these pieces, pieces that don't go, with all the other pieces, pieces that I know. The pieces that we know are the things in our life that are already solid things in our lives. We can choose them, maybe some things we can't choose, like college is a piece that I know. It is something that is in my life. So we've got these pieces that we know, these are the pieces that we need to work around, and we've got these other pieces that we really want to fit in, whether it's an opportunity or a significant other or a job, and we need to figure out how to get them to fit with those pieces and sometimes they don't and sometimes they do at different times and sometimes we need to work to get things to fit but eventually all the things that need to fit will and all the things that you want to fit that you work hard enough to get in there they'll fit as well it's really such a wonderful song because it means something different to everyone and it's beautiful and wonderful both the lyrics and the music alike so the song that I want to talk about is Let It Be, but the version that was in Across the Universe, the movie. Now, Across the Universe itself as a whole for the music didn't wow me, but this song killed me. I was crying, it was perfect, it was done so well. At first it's sung by a little boy and then it's taken up by a gospel choir. Now, gospel choirs always sound awesome, even if you don't agree with what they're saying. You don't have to be Christian and they can be singing about the Lord and you're like, oh, they sound so good. And this gospel choir is singing Let It Be and it is just so moving and the soloist is so good. And it's that power about how you really just have to let things take their path. The last thing about this arrangement that is just the kicker is they do not resolve 
the chord at the end. And usually I'm the kind of person who can't handle unresolved chords. And the reason is because we're saying that you have to let things be. You have to let life go as it's going to go. And it doesn't resolve because it's never over. It keeps going, and yeah, eventually each person's life ends, but their impact never changes the people who were around them. Now, <laughs> it took me a very long time to pick what this last song was going to be that I was going to talk about, and I'm actually changing my mind which one I'm talking about. So to anyone who I was talking to on Skype or AIM or in person, and I said this is my list, sorry, I was lying to you. <laughs> The last song on my list is called For Ernie, and it is by Glenn Roth. Glenn Roth is a guitarist, and he has a very interesting guitar style. It's soft, and it's great to listen to, and some of it's really hard-hitting, but for the most part, it's just easy-going, beautiful guitar music. The thing about Glenn Roth is that he doesn't have lyrics, he doesn't sing, it's just all pure instrumental guitar, and it's all acoustic, which is just beautiful. <laughs> This song has a melody that is just so catchy and it gets stuck in your head. I really can't describe it to you because it doesn't have lyrics that are meaningful. It's the song itself and the emotion behind it. Sometimes words don't do your feelings justice, but the emotion that you can put into a song and the way you get into it and the way you feel it, that can convey so much more than words sometimes. And I think that that's exactly what he's done with this song, and every time I listen to it, I understand the meaning, but I can't really tell you what the meaning is, because I can't put it into words. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed five of my favorite songs. Maybe not my favorite five, but these are definitely five wonderful songs that I enjoy every time I hear them. So I hope you have all had wonderful weeks, and I hope you all continue to have a wonderful time as we go into the weekend. And Lizzie, I will see you on Monday.